Hi guys, Jamie here, and welcome to Indie Kid, the review show where we take a look at games still in early access or made by indie developers, and we have a look and see whether we're looking forward to them or whether we're going to feel as though they're going to be a waste of our time. So we're going to start off by playing a game that has, in the last couple of weeks, come to Steam Early Access. Uh, it's called Darkwood. Uh, this initial loading screen is a little long. I've played maybe the first 15 minutes of this already. Um, so the best way to think of it is like a top-down, kind of Silent Hill-esque horror game. Um, the plot seems to be pretty important, although the worlds are procedurally generated, so not everything is going to be the same every playthrough. So how they're going to incorporate the plot into it, I'm not sure about, but as you can see we're starting up a new game here so hopefully we'll end up with something interesting uh, so I played through like the introduction section the tutorial teaches you how to play the game but not much further than that so I'm kind of interested to see what this game actually has to offer so in terms of the show itself um, we'll be doing this as often as we can uh, mainly because playing indie games and early access games I really enjoy um, so I want to do it as much as possible and hopefully you guys will see a lot more of these come up on the channel. So it looks as though we're nearly done generating the world here, maybe my little cut. Oh, yep, there we go. Even when I'm asleep I can't stop seeing their faces. Looking at me with trust. Like I could heal them, save them from the spreading plague. Like I could stop the process which destroys their land, rots their bodies and mires. There's no way out of here. I'm stuck with them. their unending calling, pleading cries and muttered prayers. Okay. okay, so we can drag items. Pretty cool. Click to search. Pills. Pills here. Um, we we'll search the table. So basically, I'm going to try and shoot through the uh, beginning parts. So this is barricaded. So as you can see, the game's heavily based on field division. For example, I know what I've left on the other side of this wall. However, I can't see anything through there. So we've got cages here. We've got radio. More cages. Not wanting to enter doors. So in here we've got what I assume is the spreading plague and we've also got a trap door I used to store stuff here but it jammed a long time ago so at the moment we're just we're looking for a um, for the key that's down here so that's we are able to leave our front door. Ooh, I'm going to turn my volume down a little bit on my headset so I can hear myself think. So if you hold down the cl left click button, um, you can bring up whatever options you have. So use key. And away we go. Okay, so we've got a wooden doll. Got a well. Take a rope out of the well. So we've got our, our buddy here. My dog, I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. Nice. So we make our way over that. Now, I don't like the animation, but early access and all that. So, so we pick up an axe here. Now, I'm going to take this axe. And I'm going to use it to bash the dog's head in. 
Why you ask? Well, because it would be cruel not to. So you hold down the right. He dead. So you hold down the right mouse button to charge up the attack, and then left click to release the attack. And we will do the same thing on this tree bark. I hope everyone wasn't too attached to that dog, by the way, because I imagine that if that made you uh, feel a bit unsettled, then some of the other things in this game are about to get really difficult for you. So at the risk of losing atmosphere, I'm just going to kind of try and rush through this. So there's no escape from these, run from these woods. Only rats can squeeze themselves between the trees. Okay, we're breathing pretty heavily. Okay, let's see what's cracker lacking. So I'm just searching these forest, these parts of the walls are dark, I should craft a torch. Ta-da! Here we go. So let's try and get through here before the torch runs out. Go this way. Hope we can go this way. So we can see that these like in a few days it'll be completely absorbed. These like weird plant things are like. Absorbing people, I guess that's what that is. So I can hit things with a torch as well, and this is good to know. Okay, let's go, go, go. Okay, so we're going this way. Okay, so torch looks about no longer necessary. And now the second part of the game is going to begin. Here we go. He's unconscious. The little rat didn't make it into his hole. If he's got the key, he must know where the door is. Only pests like him now to get out of these woods. Of course, he won't willingly tell me anything. But this, however, doesn't really matter. Boom, plot twist. We're playing as the guy we found in the woods now. The doctor's evil, maybe. I don't know, I haven't got much further. Okay, so the door's been barricaded with us inside. See, look, it's the trap door room. Uh, cellar for storing food. Now we can make a wire. A rag. So if we come into our menu, we can make bandages. Which we'll be able to use to heal ourselves, and we can make a lockpick. Which, for obvious reasons, use. There we go. So we will slowly heal by the looks of it. So inside the trap door, we've got a flashlight and a shovel. The shovel I'm going to use to destroy the barricaded door. Now we do have a stamina bar in the top left, along with our health. So I'm going to try not to overwork it. This item's no longer usable. I need to repair it. In that case, I better whip out the torch. So 
all the lights have gone out. Which is, of course, incredibly terrifying. There's nothing in the cage. I better not leave the house at night. It's safer in here. I'm sure that's debatable, friend. Very, very debatable. What's this? A lamp. Switch on. Okay, well, it was... Mm, wardrobe. No. An old radio. So all the power's gone. I can't see anything else in here that we want to look at. So I guess we're going to go this way. Locked. I could open it with a lockpick. Who's there? Please let me out. That doesn't sound safe to me. Well, I don't believe that we've got the ability to make anything else. This game's creepy as hell. If I drag this, is there maybe something underneath it? Stop dragging. Maybe if we drag the wardrobe. It's a heavy ass wardrobe. You can really feel the weight behind it. And bingo. Was his. Uh, hello, friend. The generator is turned off. I can hear a faint metallic sound of an engine. This isn't going to end well. I suddenly hear a voice. Gasoline. Gasoline. Suddenly the voice turns into a rumble. What are you looking at? Get me some booze. His eyes are fixed on the hilt of the scalpel stuck in his forehead. Warm wax drips from the wound onto the metal surface. I don't recognise his face, but I know who he is. Got a scalpel sticking into his head? That's not good. Searching the crate is taking a long time. Lockpick, wood, nail. Dog tag? Mikulsk? Mikulski? Mayhaps. Now I believe. I can make a plank with nails. Which, would you believe, I'm probably going to need to use to cave somebody's skull in. The, the, the man's gone. Friends, the man is gone. Oh, I need to equip the gasoline. Whoops. There be. That was that noise. Get it in. This isn't good. It's okay, I've got my sh Chevalier, my sh my chevalier. I've got my plank, friend, friend. I, I can't. Ow! Ow! I'm missing a lot of these. Jesus Christ. Note to self, everybody is an arsehole. He 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 he. And how do you want to get out now? You think you can manage all by yourself? 
I reckon I'm gonna do better by my. Can you hear it? <laughs> A little bit. Oh no. and shine okay I could feel your stench from afar you should be thankful I don't have an appetite for carcasses he hides his face under a hood I can feel the smell of wet ground and fur I came after your reek to inform you about something but looking at your face, someone has already done just that. These woods are full of little trinkets, treasures. If you find anything valuable, I'll gladly have a look at it. Maybe give you something in exchange. My hideout is not very far, to the northeast of here. Remember this, because the likes of you always crawl back to me. Oh, I almost forgot. A little welcome, a little welcome present. With this unusual bucket, you'll be able to drink from our local crystal clear water straight from the well. You'll see when the night comes, you won't be able to live without it. Oh, what a beautiful thing this is, meat. I know who it belonged to. Wolf giggles as he looks at the dog tag. You'd like to know too, eh? It's funny that someone who would like to speak so much won't ever say a word. I'll give you a piece of advice, almost for free. If you want to know more about this, where this thing came from, find the woman who stinks of chickens. You'll find her in a cottage, close to the west of here. Wolf makes a step in my direction. If you find anything worthwhile from her, do remember that I like information. It would be wise to live in good terms with me, comrade meat. Well. So we've got skills. Oh, we will have skills. Dog tag. Well, yeah. Great. Okay. So I'm guessing this is us in the game now. What do we have in our inventory? An art of mushroom. And a bucket. So I'm guessing I'm safe here. Safer here. I see. I have no wooden planks. I've got no strings to hold me down. How how am I supposed to get out of here? Was there a dog behind the a dog behind the wolf? Is there a door behind the wolf? Let's search. Nope, this part of the house is being taken over. I see, there's the door. Okay, so we're outside now, I guess. I've got nothing to defend myself with. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I'm just wandering aimlessly. I see. Hide out. Underground entrance. Well, I guess I should go to the underground entrance first then. Oh, hello. Uh, junk I probably am not going to take. Jesus Christ, look at the size of that ladybug. This is my hideout, right? Okay, so we've got a shed. 
I imagine that will come in handy for something. We've got a small caliber magazine. I wish we had a gun. The issue is, I don't know where I am on the map. I mean, the woods are getting considerably thicker. Nope, nope, nope. And ah, God. Oh, no. Okay, this has now become a game of cat and mouse. Ironically, the cat is played by wolves. Okay, I think I've gotten rid of them. And completely turned myself around in the process. Location found, underground entrance. Ah! Okay, that was a bear trap. I probably should have realised that. I, I didn't look like a fucking bear trap though, did it? Okay, I'm going to assume recipe for lantern. Great, can I just yeah. No. Uh, there we go. We can make. We can make lantern now. I felt as though mayhaps there was a door behind there. The entrance to the underground tunnels. What underground tunnels? I don't know. A dim light recovers the wet... Oh, I need a light source to continue. Okay. Well. I can make a torch. So mayhaps I use said torch. The thick wooden stakes only barely hold the soaked ground along with the tangled up roots. The construction seems like it's about to collapse at any moment. Steam has finished downloading Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Phantoms. Come on now. Mmm, okay. I wonder what's off in this direction. Um, I, I guess I'm going to take the weird stone out of the giant throbbing pulsating monster. Coincidentally, the first line in the latest Fifty Shades of Grey book. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's got to be something down here. I think my door, I won't be able to open it without my key. Use key? None of my keys fit here. Okay, guys, well, I guess that's a dead end for us at the moment. So, I'm going to win the video. So, Darkwood, as I said, is available on early access on Steam. As you can see, it's a very cool atmospheric game, and your playthrough is probably not going to be the same as mine is. Uh, they're still developing it, so I am looking forward to having my save game wiped. Um, as always guys, it's a new channel, if you enjoy the video, if you enjoy the show, then please like, share the video, subscribe, and as always guys, have a good one.